this this video in particular has been highly requested i think it's because i watch a lot of compilations about lino fighting demons a lot of you are like nigel bro you need to watch a compilation of lino being a nice person and all that stuff like that like it's almost as if you think that i don't think that lino is a nice person i know I know Lino. We know Lino. All right, my fault. I know Lino is a nice person. Everyone has a side to them, though. You get what I'm saying? When you used to act up in school, right? And your mom used to... Or, you know what I'm saying? That, that didn't make her a bad mom. Unless she was doing it, like, on a regular. And that's, that's, that's crazy. What I'm saying is that didn't make her a bad mom. That just made you a badass kid. You know what I mean? Depending on how you look at it. Basically, all I'm trying to say is, bro, I know Lino is not all just, um, killer. <laughs> Simply put, okay? But I, I am I am here to let you know that I know that we know Lino. I'm just playing. I know that we know that Lino is not just, bro, a person that shoves tissue down people's throat. That's not, that's not all Lino can, is capable of doing. You know what I mean? Listen, what's going on, Stay? How you doing? Let's pop it, Stays. And listen, one of you, well, a lot of you said that Nigel calling the Stray Kids the Stray Kids is cracking me up. Bro, can I not, but like, I'm not in adult statehood yet. All right? I'm still, I'm still, I'm still taking baby steps. My knees ain't fully developed yet. If I say the Stray Kids, I'm, bro, that's just, now I know Stray Kids. I'm gonna just start saying Stray Kids, leave out the duh. Okay? Let's pop it. And I'm saying if it's your first time seeing my face, consider subscribing. Consider being over here with the fam. This is a party that you did not know you wasn't invited to. I don't know if I said that right, but you know what I'm trying to say. All right? Check me out. If it's your first time, damn, I already said that. <laughs> What's popping though, bro? What's popping? Uh, listen, I'm so glad to see you. I'm so glad that you're here. I'm so glad that we get, that we get to spend time together. Let's get straight into the video, man, okay? Like I said, this this was highly anticipated. This is Lino being the mom of the Stray Kids. I'm super excited to get into this video, but before we do that, I do want to let you guys know what has been going on over on... You guessed it, Patreon! Oh, she's so... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I see God damn. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, uh, I'm trying to tell you the stray kids. I don't be, it be sounding so uh, like we here. Ooh, oh my God, bro, y'all are not paying attention. That is amazing. What? Hold on, what? Was that a drug deal? That's Sung Min. That's, that's Sung Min. For sure. For sure. Ain't it? Ain't it? Am I tripping? So would you call this like blackface? Kind of, sort of. Like, okay, I'm done. I'm, okay, like seriously, I'm done, done. Like, I'm finished. <laughs> Ooh, he got hella energy. God damn. <laughs> bro, this got my butt sweating, bro. This is beautiful. <laughs> Definitely something, bro. That's definitely something. Definitely. <laughs> 2025, I know you got my back. And if I go broke trying to go to a concert, I can ask you for money, right? I love seeing this because I love to see how they're going to communicate with each other when it comes to just not only the good things. Like, I, I love seeing it. Are they reviewing their concerts? It's like they're studying film as if, like, they're freaking athletes, which they are. But, like, this is what, like, football locker rooms and boxers do. Like, study. The oh, my God. Get over there. Get yellow behind. Over there. All right, I know that you saw a highlight and you were just like, damn, that look interesting, bro. He watched this, he watched that. Yes, a lot of the stuff that I watch on Patreon, I cannot watch here. Like Kingdom, one of my favorite shows now. It's over there on Patreon. We have a ball watching it. I'm trying to tell you, you're missing out. It's a party that you didn't know you wasn't, that you wasn't, invi if, if you wasn't invited to. Get over there. Click that first link in the description down below or the bar that right above my little box just now. And it'll take you straight there. <laughs> All right, I hope, you have, I hope that you're having an amazing day. And I hope that you have had an amazing week. 
Let's get into this content, man. You get what I'm saying? Lino being a mom of the stray kids, bro. My bias. Oh, shit. We know, we know, we know, we know. Nino, but when you put a bag of rice, can you put it on the Oh, was this when he was cooking for everybody or? Oh. Permission for mom. <laughs> I'm, I'm weak. I didn't even peep oh. that when I saw this episode. This is this is a skiz code, ain't it? Nino, but when you put a bag of rice, can you put it on the Oh. Oh. Yes. Oh, there, there. Yeah, boy. Don't forget to call me. Yena. What? What? I've never seen this side. I've never seen this side. Oh. Like, bro, he actually like, he's being a mother. You get what I'm saying? Like, he has the vocabulary of a 60 year old woman. I'm saying that because my mom is 60 and she talked like that. Well, damn, mom, I did not mean to. My mom 25. My mom 25. She not sick. Who the fuck? Who said that? Now you being you being racist? Damn. Don't 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 say I said anything. Okay. Who's younger can hit an older person? Oh, 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 <laughs> he looked like he on the phone with with like his son's school, but like his son gave her the, gave his mom the wrong number, so she really calling Domino's. I ain't used to do that back in the day. I just I'm just saying. I know some people that used to do it. I did that shit all the time. I'm not finna sit here and lie to you. <laughs> she used to be calling Domino's and Papa Joe Ice, bro. What? <laughs> I'm not. I'm about that. He's not picking it up. Lee don't start again. I ain't no mom's lie. I ain't no mom's lie. I'm not going to die. I'm not yeah, so chung bit of the Damn, this is an old clip. How dare you call it? <laughs> Super mom on a sweater. <laughs> what the hell? This nigga look like Spike Lee. <laughs> he, look like <laughs> he look like a movie director. <laughs> Hi, look. <laughs> look at Lee, no feeding his little duckies. Is he the Lino really cares about these guys, which I know he does, or Lino really getting money on? I'm saying Lino really getting money. He don't give a damn about no damn cheese cheese stick sandwich. The fuck, like Lino getting money on? <laughs> so you basically had him looking for something that wasn't there. That's kind of fucked up. Why didn't you say something to leave? I don't know. 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 I don't
Ja, det är det är det Shout out to all the moms out there. I remember my mama used to do this for me. A little black ass. I remember. Shout out to all of the moms out there, bro. No cap. Like being, being, being so for real, bro. I really do think that like moms are like the real life superheroes. And I know we say that and throw that term around a lot. But like seriously, everything that like we put. Think about everything that you put your mom through. You know what I'm saying? Think about everything that that that, that you have put your mom through. And you ain't even say thank you. Or, hey, mom, I'm sorry. Or, hey, mom, I appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? Only thing you say is, mom, you need to, you, you, hey, you burn the shit out of my, my potatoes. You know what I'm saying? You need to, you need, you need to start, start being thankful. This is your sign right now. Pause the video and walk out, walk out of your room. You know what I'm saying? Where you ain't, you know what I'm saying? Clean, you ain't cleaned it since she told you to clean it back in 2022. Walk out your dirty ass room. No, walk out of your room and go tell your mom, you know what? I appreciate you. And if your mom isn't in your life, tell your dad that. And if your dad not in your life, fuck. I appreciate you, and you are a strong person, and I love you. That shit got dark as fuck. I'm so sorry. Oh, uh. This is a super old clip. Chamin look like fur. <laughs> Penny is a fur. <laughs> That's my guy though. He look like fur. <laughs> 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 I love seeing this side of Lino, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I like seeing that. How can you say it? The paralysis demon side of Lino. But I also love seeing the warm, you want some milk and cookies, Pookie? Type. Yeah, I love seeing this side. I love seeing this side of Lino. <laughs> He was just sitting on her. God damn, I didn't even see that nigga. I'm like, I'm just too. I'm just too. I'm just too. I'm just too. I'm just I heard that. I heard you're not supposed to fall asleep after eating, but I don't know how true that is. Just because it's is bad for you, or, is it, or does it make you like have nightmares? What is what is uh, falling asleep after you eat do to you? I heard of that. Hey Siri. Uh huh. What happens when you fall asleep right after you eat? There's proof that stomach distension makes you sleepy after a meal, although it's a mild effect and it's not influenced by particular foods, says sleep expert Dr. Lawrence Epstein, an instructor at Harvard Medical School. This is from Harvard.edu. That should just sound like a fart. Like it just sound like. A fart will brew if you fall asleep too bad, like right after you eat. You just gonna brew up a fart like a fucking massive ass fart. You know what I'm saying? That shit just it's just a fart. You can fall asleep after you eat. Firm, firm, firm. <laughs> My guy. Hold on, what do you say? Open up. I'm proud. I love this, bro. God damn. God damn. Oh, look at him wiping his tears. We know. I love how he's really taking care of the members for real. 
I swear, if moms don't do nothing else, they gonna take a picture, bro. You know what I'm saying? And, and I, I'm not gonna lie, like, all jokes aside, when your mom wants to take a picture of you, right, you need to start just saying, okay, let's just take two, okay? Because I used to always be the one like, mom, I'm not taking pictures, bro. Like, I hate taking pictures. I'm not taking pictures. I'm not taking, mom, put the phone down. You know what I'm saying? And, like, we used to, I'm not saying get into arguments, but, like, she used to be like, God damn, like, what the fuck? And I used to be like, bro, get the fuck out. You know, I used, never cussed my mom. I'm just saying. But what I was missing was, right, what I was missing was that they want to capture the moment. And the older you get, the more you want to look back at pictures and videos of the past. Like, tw like the summer of the summer of 2013, I don't know what the, I don't know if I was a reptile or a damn tarantula. I don't, and it's because, it's because I never, I hated taking pictures. So word of advice from somebody that is 46 years old. When your parents want to take pictures of you, let them. They're not going to be here for long, bro. And I'm sorry that I keep getting so damn dark when it comes to shit like this, but like, let them take pictures. Let them cherish the moment. If you don't want to, if your little sting, stingy, snotty nose self don't want to cherish the moment, just let them take two pictures and let them cherish it. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all the moms out there. I feel your pain. I was a badass kid that didn't want to take pictures. I, I still don't want to take pictures down. But I do it because I love my mama. But mama, stop taking all them goddamn pictures, bro. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm, I'm, I'm done. You got enough, my nigga. I'm just like, I'm just like, mama, I'm, they be provoking me to talk to you. Like, I don't, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Look, showing off his kids, showing off his kids, bro, on Facebook. Give me some too. Taking care of his chickens, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'll buy you hair cream later. Lino making money on. He don't give a damn. <laughs> I'm just playing. I need a tranquilizer gun. What the hell? That's what I love about Lino. It's like he can. He can be so loving, obviously, but he can also get on your ass and make you do some shit too, bro. Lino was what the fuck? See, this is this is this is the shit I don't condone. What the hell's going on? This guy, bro, Lino. Yes, I'm little mom. <laughs> yes, I'm little mom. Oh, go here, I'm going. Oh my God, dude. Damn, damn, What the? F oh, damn! I'm like, what the hell? Listen, bro. Listen, listen. I know that Lino is a beautiful person, but we all have a dark side. You know what I'm saying? And I think Lino's dark side gets put on display a little bit more. Doesn't mean that he, that he just has a, how can I say this? He's a walking crime scene, right? But at the same time, the, in the same breath, he has a beautiful soul. And he loves the hell out of the Stray Kids, bro. Out of Stray Kids, not the Stray Kids, Stray Kids. Okay. Yeah, bro. Lino's my guy, bro. Lino's my guy. But with all that being said, guys, that's it for me. I love you so freaking much. Thank you for tuning in. Um, if, if anything on Patreon interests you, make sure that you click that first link in the description down below or the link that's going to pop up on the screen um, in about a couple seconds. Just wait for it. It's coming. It's coming. All right. Um, <laughs> I love you guys so much. Okay. Be safe out here. And I'll see you in the next video. Okay. Peace out. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. <laughs>
Yo, uh, I'm trying to tell you the Stray Kids, it'd be, it be sounding so uh, like we here. Ooh, oh my God, bro. Y'all are not paying attention. That is amazing. <laughs> what, hold on, what? Was that a drug deal? That's Sung Min. That's, that's Sung Min. For sure. For sure. Ain't it? Ain't it? Am I tripping? So would you call this like blackface? Kind of, sort of. Like, okay, I'm done. I'm okay. Like, seriously, I'm done. Done. Like, I'm finished. <laughs> oh, he got hella energy. God damn. <laughs> bro, this got my butt sweating, bro. This is beautiful. Definitely something, bro. That's definitely something. Definitely. Jin! 2025, I know you got my back. And if I go broke trying to go to a concert, I can ask you for money, right? It's I love seeing this because I love to see how they're going to communicate with each other when it comes to just not only the good things. Like, I, I love seeing it. Are they reviewing their concerts? It's like they're studying film as if, like, they're freaking athletes, which they are. But, like, this is what, like, football locker rooms and boxers do. Like, study. Oh, my God. Greatest team.